So was there really a cursed mummy on the Titanic and was that the true cause of the sinking? I know, sounds a little crazy, but we're looking at all that coming up. What's good guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Raph the Titanic I Avila, and here on my channel, we talk about the Titanic, disasters, and other historical events. So if you're weirdly obsessed with disasters, like I am, consider subscribing and join our community of Titanic nerds. Okay, so today we're gonna be looking at this weird Titanic myth that is actually a myth. There are people out there that truly believe this. And the myth is, was there a cursed mummy on the Titanic? And was the cursed mummy really the reason the Titanic sank? Okay, long story short, guys, no, there wasn't. So yeah, thanks for watching the video. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> okay, just kidding. Obviously, there's a lot more to the video. So let's look at this in a little bit more detail. So a couple of days ago, I put out a poll on my YouTube channel and I asked you guys the following. Titanic nerds, have you guys ever heard the myth that a cursed mummy was on board the Titanic and being the true cause of the disaster? Let me know below. And 27% of you had heard this myth before, 50% of you had never heard this before, and 22% of you had heard it, but do not believe it at all. And then we have 1%, which is probably what, like one person who believes it, which is, hey, good for you. I mean, we can believe anything, but uh, it's not true. So uh, let me let me explain. <laughs> now, the common shout out for this week is by Maritime Historian, who says, this myth, this myth, the myth is stupid. Yeah, I agree. Uh, it started because some reporter shared his opinion that a mummy's curse was behind tragedies in Britain. He died, but he told people on the ship about this. Some of them survived, spread the story as he told them, and time changed from the mummy's curse of Britain to the mummy's curse of Titanic. At least that's how I heard the story. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much exactly correct. So let's go back from the very beginning. So if you guys follow me on TikTok or are on TikTok, because the majority of you probably are, you may have seen the following video. I'm gonna show you this video. This video was kind of going viral, and as soon as any Titanic-related video goes viral, you guys tag me, bombard me, and I always see any Titanic-related video. So I did see this video. I wanna show you guys this TikTok where this uh, lady talks about the myth. So I'll let her do my job for me, and let's see what she has to say about the myth of the cursed mummy. Okay, so Tell here me we go. a conspiracy theory that you heard that blew your mind. So the princess of Amun-Ra was mummified and buried deep in a vault in Egypt in 1500 BC. Thousands of years later, four Englishmen traveled to Luxor so that they could buy her tomb. One of them disappeared, one of them was shot, one of them went bankrupt, and one of them became severely ill. So a London businessman bought it, but then three of his family members were injured mysteriously and his house caught on fire. So then it was placed in a British museum where people who came in contact with it were either severely injured or died. Even the night watchers at the museum complained that they could hear screaming and sobbing coming from the tomb. A journalist took a picture of it and when he developed the picture, he saw a crazy face and shot and killed himself. So eventually an American archeologist decided to buy it and bring it back to New York Harbor. So it's gonna set sail in April of 1912. And in case you haven't figured it out, here's what ship it was on. What? What? Guys, it was on the Titanic. It was on the Titanic because I saw it in a TikTok, so now it's on the Titanic. Uh, so yeah, the video has now since been deleted, but all the comments were like, Oh my God, I can't believe it. The mummy, it's the mummy. This is the reason why Titanic sank. Okay. <sighs> Alrighty, so. That was a pretty good explanation. She does a very good job in summarizing the whole thing because that's pretty much correct up until the very end. But yeah, it is a fun and interesting story, but is it true? No, absolutely not. So I'm gonna tell you exactly why it's not true in just a second, but in the video, she brings up a really good point. She talks about a journalist. So this is actually the reason that we know about the myth. And this is what our boy maritime historian at the beginning of the video here, the common shout out, that's who he was talking about. So let's look at that in a little bit more detail. How did this myth even start? Basically, the journalist that we're talking about is a man named William Thomas Stead. What a fantastic beard. Wow. I can't, I can't grow that. This man was a newspaper editor. 
Uh, he was basically a progressive, a reformist. It said he's a pioneer of investigative journalism, and basically he was a very influential figure in Britain in the early 1900s, helping to you know, reform some laws and many different things. So he's quite influential. And he wrote a series of articles that led to a bill that was later called the Stead Act uh, that raised the age of consent from 13 to 16. So, I mean, that's pretty, pretty influential stuff. Now, Mr. William Stead, he boarded the Titanic. He was indeed a Titanic passenger. And unfortunately, he died in the disaster. Leading up to the sinking, he had a chance to talk to many other passengers and he was somebody who was very charismatic. He loved to share stories about his work and all, you know, his journalism, what he had heard over the years. And one of the stories that he shared was about this cursed mummy. So he spoke about the history of the cursed mummy, you know, all of the irregularities surrounding the mummy and why people believed it was cursed people dying, all, all these weird, crazy events. Now, after the sinking of the Titanic, some of those passengers who had spoken with William Stead, they remembered what he told them about this mummy. So somehow they started associating the mummy with the Titanic and basically saying that the Titanic was cursed because of this cursed mummy and the Titanic sank because this mummy was on board. So the story got twisted significantly and then just kind of spread like wildfire. You know how things are. So that's how we know about the story today because this man told the story and then passengers played a huge game of telephone and it just spread everywhere. And here we are today. So is the story true? No. Why do people believe it? I don't know, but I will tell you, we literally know where this mummy is today. This supposed cursed mummy is in the British Museum today. You can literally go there, purchase a ticket and go visit it. And mind you, it's not even a mummy. It's only the case of the mummy. This whole story is surrounded around the case of this mummy of of the high priestess of Amun-Ra. There was no record of this mummy listed on Titanic's cargo manifest, but then you could also argue, well, Raph, obviously, I mean, it's a mummy. Why would they list it as a mummy? They're probably gonna list it as something else. Yeah, that is a good point, but we literally know where the mummy is today. It's not on the ocean floor. It's in the British Museum. This is the page on the British Museum website that gives a whole description of the cursed mummy. So let's take a look. Okay, so as you can see on the website of the British Museum, this is the famous unlucky mummy. So this is an image of the mummy. We can see that they give a pretty detailed description of the history of the mummy. And even the museum itself addresses the Titanic rumor. Here they write, the most remarkable story is that the mummy board was on board the SS Titanic on its maiden voyage in 1912, and that its presence caused the ship to collide with an iceberg and sink. Needless to say, there is no truth in any of this. So we can clearly see that the mummy has the identification number 22542, and it is currently displayed in room 62 of the museum. So long story short, no. There was no mummy on the Titanic, and there was no curse placed on the Titanic that caused it to sink. So yeah, in today's lesson of don't believe everything you see on the internet, don't believe everything you see on the internet. Ex except this is actually, this is on the internet. Believe this, believe, believe me, <laughs> you saw the proof. But yeah, I mean, I actually made a TikTok in response to that video because everybody was tagging me in it, but you're still gonna have people that just blindly believe everything they see there. So there you go, guys. That's another Titanic myth busted. Yeah, if anybody ever tells you that a cursed mummy sank the Titanic, tell them, no, it didn't. It's in the British Museum right now. We could buy a ticket and we can go. You just have to pay for yourself. So what do you guys think? Did I convince you? Do you guys think that a cursed mummy brought down the Titanic? Are there any other myths that you guys have heard about the Titanic? Let me know in the comments and we can talk about them, okay? Okay. Okay, that's all I wanted to say. I just wanted to clear that up for you guys. If you guys like the video, if you guys learned something new today, please don't forget to drop a like. It really helps the algorithm. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and join our community of Titanic nerds. Anyway, guys, if you're in dire need of some more Titanic facts, you guys can always take a look at this playlist here with a bunch of TikTok compilations. They're super fun, you won't get bored. If you guys have been staring at my White Starline sweater, you guys can cop your own at my merch store, titanicguy.com. And of course, just for subscribing, I'm gonna give you your bonus content. See, that's what happens when you guys subscribe. You get a bonus content. So we just talked about this mummy for however many minutes, but I'm sure you guys wanna see it in real life. 
So I found a video, very quick video, of this famous cursed mummy, the unlucky mummy, that you can see with your own eyes. So there you go. Enjoy. Okay, that's all for this week. Bye.